is back with another video. Today we are going over my Marshalls TJ Maxx favorites. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about makeup being expired. And I don't know how true it is, but um, I've literally been wearing makeup since I was 17, 18 years old. And that is where that's always been my go-to. Um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. Um, it's not that I couldn't afford Sephora or actual makeup stores. It was just, um, why spend all that if I don't have to? <laughs> it didn't make sense to me. Um, my mom, she is more on the frugal side of things. So that's just the way uh, my mind thinks when it comes to almost everything. Um, especially makeup being that back of the day yeah i i wore makeup to death i loved it so i wanted the best and marshall's tj maxx ross they had the best so we're gonna work with that so okay so i have my little bag of goodies and um so let's get started um, so we're going to start with let's see i'm gonna start with lashes so, a couple of years ago, I sold lashes. Um, that was my thing. You know, I loved it. And then um, life just really started life. And I ended up going back to school for aesthetics. And I finished earlier this year. So, it's a lot of... I probably shouldn't even be saying this. Because I am a... I specialize in lash extensions. And I don't do the glue, but these right here gonna heat every time. Y'all see them? Yeah, you, you get your little natural, medium, natural, and then we got the shebang, the get into it. Cause I'm that girl. Okay, and now we can go, since it's at the top, we're just going to just go straight into powders. So, um, I have the Milk Makeup um, Blur Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. Um, this, this right here, it's my jam. <coughs> I don't know why I opened it, but, um... I think I want to say it came with this little um, screen on top of it. Mm -mm. Like, how am I supposed to get the makeup? That's the only thing I don't like about that. How, how am I supposed to get the makeup? And this is the shade Translucent Medium. And usually when I go a lot lighter than my skin tone, I, um, I don't bake with it. I press it in and go back in with uh, a pressed powder and we're good to go. Okay, up next I have another translucent powder. Um, this, well not really translucent powder. This is Jaclyn Hill, let's see, focus, um, under eye powder brightening banana. I did I use that today today she ate she was bright of course I had to go back in with that the pressed powder but um yeah my girl ate she ate on this one it chef's kiss okay and then um I have the Jacqueline and Robin Okay, and this is the Loose Setting Powder, Powder Move. Um, this is in Sheer Rich. You know, I I did mention that I do makeup. Uh, so, a lot of the time, you need makeup for other people other than yourself. So, I do have Sheer Rich. And I have Sheer Deep. Um, I have used it when I try to carve out the bottom of my contour. I have used it. I did like it. Um, depending, it really depends on where I am going. So if I say, 
say I have somewhere where I need my makeup to be top tier for a couple of hours, yeah, I'm going to have to set, set, literally set everything. So these are a great go-to if you are wanting these and they're at an affordable price and everything that I am mentioning today, they're under $10. Yeah, I said it. Okay, and then what is this? Lorac. Lorac? I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Um, okay, and this is their Pro Loose Setting Powder. Um, I haven't tried this one, but it looks like if I were to. Just do a quick foundation look, uh, no contour. This would be my go-to. It is very, very similar to, um, what is it, Black Radiance. The same shade that I, I wear with that. Um, so I can't wait to try this. Okay, more Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> what I tell you, like she is the first YouTuber that um, literally made me fall in love with makeup. So, um, of course she get the big shout out cause I love her. Her and Jackie Ina, those are my girls. My go-tos. Okay. So this is the pressed powder that I was mentioning. Um, it is in the shade, is pressed bronzer. Excuse me. Pressed bronzer in the shade top down. Okay, and this is what she's looking like. Has a little cute little mirror. And then this is the shade. And I love how my camera is capturing the actual color that is giving. She's giving exactly what it is giving. Okay. And then our last on the list. This is Mac. I don't know if y'all see that. There we go. There we go. And this is the Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in Medium Plus. I also use this as a transition shade. So I like to bounce between all of them. Um, the, the Lorac I have not used, but the Jaclyn Hill I used that one today. I like that. The Milk, the Milk, and the Mac. Those, those two definitely have been my go-tos for a little while now, and um, I'm not disappointed. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have a Morphe bronzer. Morphe bronzer in bronze snow. Um, it's a velvet matte pressed powder. I am, you tell me. You tell me. I think she ate. I think she ate. Yeah. And um, at an affordable part, affordable price, I believe this was only four ninety nine, five ninety nine. You know, you know, Morphe is more on the more affordable end. But if we can get her cheaper, that's what we're going to do. Okay, and then this. up next, we have a bigger Morphe. Um, she's a little dirty, so if you can tell, mind your business. But this is the Avani Greg Morphe um, collaboration in the shade Bahama Mama. Well, not Bahama Mama, this ain't on the drink, but it's Bahamas. Um, as you can tell, she is highly loved. I love she yeah I love her I and I use that this is my transition shade for my eyeshadow and my contour my nose contour and sometimes I use it as my cheekbone contour as well um, this is more of my what is it I'll reach for this one before I reach for this one because this one is still on the new I'm still deciding which one I like and which one I don't like. Um, but as of right now, 
she's my favorite she has a little bit of glitter in it and she's giving okay and then i have a another morphe bronzer in the color trailblazer okay and of course she is loved as well okay i like that one not much to say about it um we then we have um supreme supreme and then fem yeah i love all of these um when every time they they have a new color that i don't have i have to make sure i get a new one um there's no shame in my game you know you have to keep up with like when you do makeup you gotta have everything for everybody you, you don't really know because a lot of times my points would be last minute and which is okay but you got to be prepared for whatever and whomever shows up okay and then of course we got another one Jaclyn Hill uh, Morphe Bling Boss I don't even like let's talk about it I don't even like colors like forever like i like colors but not on me anymore but um i still felt like i still had to have this so look at those colors look at them look at them eight down when i tell you and then it's is really really affordable and that's what i love about um marshall's and tj maxx whatever your price point is they got something for you you know because it's a lot of stuff in there that it is more i'm not even gonna say expensive but um for makeup you know i do be noticing people be stealing so if you gotta steal i mean you you can't afford it here's another palette by of course what is that Rogue Romance by Jacqueline. Just watch. Just watch. When I tell y'all, like, I was never a blush girl until I got this. Like, what is it? Ever After? She's that girl. She is that girl. And I love her. Yeah, I have to warn I don't even think I have blush on today, but um, we're not doing too much today, so we didn't need that. Um, so the last on the lineup, well, not on the lineup, um, for we have a concealer. Y'all don't judge me. I don't like throwing stuff away because, you know, what I may need to be able to find this and if I don't know what it look like I ain't gonna have it but this was my go-to and you, you gonna see why this is the Stilla deep shape and shade custom contour duo sweet hitting pan literally hitting pan you know and I, I can't I can't control that but yeah she would she's literally one of my favorites and I, I can't find it anywhere but then I did find find her in a stick well the concealer stick uh it's well it's not a stick it's a pixel per pixel perfect concealer and corrector um in the shade medium tan too i have her on today and it has this little spoolie yeah yeah she's the one we're gonna get to um my favorite lipsticks and i know y'all gonna say like you're literally like you love you some jacqueline and i do 
know how to do some makeup. That's my people. Yeah, like I feel like we will be best friends. Yeah, let's see. And it is these little, what are they called? The little drip oil. Are they? Little, I can't even remember what they're called. But these, these right here. I know if y'all have seen them. I love the color. Um, and these are the little goodies. I have um, crystal drip. um honey drip and i love how creamy creamy it is like that is amazing um and then i have bubble drip yeah yeah i like i like how the the spoolie it isn't like one of those little Little teeny tiny things that are easy to break. Um, and then I have BH Cosmetics. They are so extra. How can I put that in here right? So extra. I really honestly, let me talk about it. So, this is a lip gloss and this one is caffeinated and then this one is extra foam. I am not a glitter girl, but I'm not gonna say I'm a matte girl either. I want a gloss. And I really bought this set for this one. Yeah, she is like my perfect nude for, uh, for a chocolate girl, chocolate girl. Okay. I love Mac. What is it? It's giving, um, yeah. I love me some Mac. Let's see if we can swatch this. So that is in the shade Bad and Bear. Okay, and then Double fudge and then pull it over. Yeah, kind of like more pinky mauve chocolate, chocolate colors. And then, um, let's see. Then I have Anastasia. Beverly Hills in the shade Dread. Dread. Um, she's kind of giving the same. It is because it is the same color. Yeah. This is, what is that one? What is that one? I want to say, is it pull it over? No. Okay, this one is Bad and Bear, and then this is this is Bad and Bear Mac, and then this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dread. Yeah, this is kind of if you know you know. If you see how similar these are, you know why. You know, you just stick with what you know. That's usually the works. Okay, and then I have Gwen Stefani. I love this packaging. It is it's everything. Okay, in the shade Lovable Me. But watch this. You guessed it. Let's see. Yeah, this one is very similar to, yeah. These two, they're kind of the, basically the same. Um, this is Lovable Me, and then 
This one is matte, pull it over. They're basically the same shape. Okay, and then I have... Give it to the girls, give it to the... Okay, what, what does this say? Me, you, yours. And that is the Gwen Stefani um, original recipe. You see, this is a little out of my comfort zone, but I said I'm gonna try this with um, what is it called? I'm gonna try this with a brown liner, cause I love her red. Like her red is the red that, yeah, I need. And look at how pigmented that is. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay, and then last up. Last but not least, um, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And this is in uh, Mattifying, the Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray in the 2.8 ounce. Um, I believe this is retail $20. Is I believe on Morphe, it might be like $15, $20. So every dollar that we can save we're, that's what we're going to do and that is it for today on marshall's tj maxx finds um y'all definitely i recommend going in there and just look around and just just look around definitely look around and splurge so you can get your whole face for under a hundred dollars versus just going to um, a Sephora, Ulta, and spending a hundred dollars on maybe two things. Maybe two things. So.